In this video, I'm going to take my 2007 sixth generation Chevrolet Corvette over to Boost Controlled Performance of Livonia, Michigan. We're going to put it up on the dyno and answer a question that's bugged me for the several years I've owned this car. How much horsepower and torque is it still putting down to the rear wheels after 15 years and 50,000 miles? So to find out, stick around. This is my 2007 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe with the 6L80 six-speed automatic transmission. It's powered by the 6-liter LS2 engine that makes 400 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs and 400 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPMs. Now, those numbers are what Chevy published back in 2007 when the car was new. And of course, those numbers were at the crank, not the actual numbers at the rear wheels. Drivetrain loss will reduce each of those numbers, but by what amount? That is a very good question. First, you have to understand that drivetrain loss is essentially the friction that reduces the power from the engine to, in this case, the rear wheels. It involves components like the transmission, the drive shaft, the rear differential, and the rear axle. Now, if you go online and try and research to find out exactly how much power is lost, you will go crazy. There are many discussions about the topic, and none of them seem to agree on anything. You may see the loss represented as a percentage of the original numbers, and this percentage will vary depending on if your Corvette is a manual transmission car or an automatic. The manual has less friction in the system and so will lose less power to the wheels. To add one more variable to this discussion, I am not the original owner of this car, but the third owner. So I do not have a baseline to go by for when it was new. And I know the vehicle's had at least one modification done to it. It has an air raid cold air intake but I don't know if anything else was done. Having said all that, this is what I'm going to guesstimate. I think a 2007 base C6 like this lost somewhere between 15 and 18% of its power through drivetrain loss when it was new. So the original 400 horsepower would translate to the wheels to be somewhere between 328 horsepower and 340 horsepower. And if you disagree with my estimate, drop me a comment below and make your case of what you think it should be. But for now, Let's go find out what it is putting down to the pavement today. Boost Controlled Performance is one of the premier tuners in the Midwest. I'll put a link in the description below for both their website and their YouTube page for you to check out. While they specialize in Subaru WRX STI, Nissan GTRs, and Ford Raptors, they also have experience with a variety of other makes and models, including the 6th and 7th generation Corvettes. The first step was to load up my 2007 Corvette on the dyno. They use a Dynojet 424X with the Lynx add-on that's capable of measuring up to 2,000 horsepower and 200 miles per hour. It can handle both two-wheel and all-wheel drive automobiles. Once it's loaded up, the next step is to strap it down, as you can see here. Then my tech Jason has to run some preliminary tests to determine the best gear to put it in to get the output we need. The last thing you want to have happen during a pull is to have the transmission shift on you. Fortunately for me, they had recently done some work on another 6th generation Corvette. He had that on the dyno the week before, so he had a good idea of what he needed to do to get my car to get the results we needed. So here is poll number one, and I have to say, it gets very loud when he runs it up to the red line. I was pleasantly surprised at the results of poll number one. It was showing the horsepower at 339.52 and 354.38 pound-feet of torque. Pretty impressive for a 15-year-old Corvette that has 50,000 miles on her. We then did two more polls, and as you can see, they all came in very close to one another. The horsepower averaged 340.1. The torque averaged 354.4 pound-feet. And if you're curious, it also keeps track of the top speed the vehicle was traveling on the dyno. That averaged 128.6 miles per hour, faster than I had ever driven the car in the nearly four years I have owned it. I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised after 15 years and 50,000 miles that my 2007 sixth generation Corvette 
is still putting 340 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels. Was that more or less than you anticipated? Drop me a comment below and let me know. Or if you are an owner of a C6, have you had your sixth generation Corvette up on a dyno? What kind of numbers did you see with your car? Also drop me a comment below. Thanks again to Jason from Boost Control Performance of Livonia, Michigan. My name is Tom Straup. You've been watching Find the Right Road. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks, and we'll catch you next time.